Hello everyone, my name is Roger Shromkowski and I'm a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. Today I want to talk to you about how to perform a inner join using our join snap. For this demonstration we will be using Salesforce data. So I'm going to alt tab there, we're going to look at the pipeline. Now the join snap here in the middle is kind of the key piece of what we're working with but I want to talk a little bit about what's going on to the left of that or upstream as we say. So on our top branch here, we've got the Salesforce account. Uh, nothing fancy here. We're not limiting anything. We're just pulling in the object, account object. Same thing down here. We're just pulling in the contact object. Now, the filter snap here, if you're not familiar with our filter snap, what it allows you to do is drop documents from the stream or the flow that don't meet a condition. Um, in this case, what I'm trying to do is I want to say I only want the documents to flow through here that do have an account ID. In other words, it's not null. So when, as long as this equates to true, the document flows through. If it does not, if it equates to false, then we drop the document from the flow and we stop processing it in any way whatsoever. Now both of my streams are also doing a, or both of my branches are also doing a sort. Uh, we're doing an ascending sort and we just pick a field when we want to do this. So I'm just using the account ID for the contacts and it's the ID for the accounts. Now coming into the join snap here, this is where we're going to spend probably a bit more of our time. And we just sort of make this a little larger so we can see it. Like I said, we are doing an inner join. The other options would be a left outer, you have an outer or merge. Now the left path is going to be this upper branch, okay, the account branch, if we can call it that. The right view, in my particular case, is going to be my contact branch. And so I need it to be the account ID that we're, that's the, the, the field that we're trying to match up, right? So we're saying whenever from the left we have an ID of an account that matches an account ID and a contact, let's join those documents together and then output that. Uh, join snap is capable of having additional views as well, which is why you have this right input view because you might be joining data from the upper branch to different aspects of data from different incoming branches on the bottom on the, or right view. All right, so let's go ahead real quick and just take a look at what that data looks like afterwards. Uh, so we've merged it, right? We have the account ID here and it's just coming through as ID. And then we're merging it with the contact detail. So this is quite a bit of information. And if we sort of take this scenario a little bit further, you know, you may not want all this information. So that's where we have a mapper snap. And what we're doing is we're just pulling out certain bits of data here that might be relevant to a contact, some billing information uh, for that account. Now, a couple call outs here. We are able to see this underscore underscore C, which means that this is a custom field. And then I also wanted to call out that we can change, you know, by putting in square brackets and then single quotes, we can specify what that output field looks like. So if I come back into Mapper, you can see here's the account custom field. Uh, they were all null in this case, but uh, this is what that data looks like on the outset. And then our final step in my scenario is I'm just going to do a JSON formatter to an S3 file writer. And if we take a look at this S3 file writer, you can see the bucket information and how that would be set up. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day.